Here's an idea that shapes everyone's lives. But most people rarely ever think about it. Probability. It's not just a math term from school. It's the hidden rule book of reality. We all have this feeling, right? That we're supposed to be extraordinary. That if we just work hard enough, we'll become millionaires, internet celebrities, or leaders of industry. But the truth is, most of us will live right near the middle of the pack. Not in extreme poverty, but not in extreme wealth either. And here's a thought that might challenge or even shift your perspective. This position in the middle is not a mark of failure. It's simply the most likely outcome, determined by the laws of probability. Now before you go anywhere, a quick note. This video isn't about lowering your ambitions. It's about being smarter with them. It's about understanding how probability shapes the game of life and how you can actually bend those odds in your favor. By the end, you'll see why aiming for small, consistent wins often beats chasing one massive, unlikely leap. Welcome to Inside Wiki, the channel for curious minds and smart conversations. So think about this. When you hear about global income, you might hear a number like $12,000 per year. That's the average income for an adult across the entire planet. Sounds pretty good, right? But that number is incredibly misleading. It's like asking 10 people how much money they have, and one of them is a billionaire. The average would be huge, but it wouldn't tell you anything useful about the other nine people. The billionaire's money completely skews the result. A better number to look at is the median income. That's the amount right in the middle, where half the world's population earns less and half earns more. According to recent data from sources including the World Bank, the global median income for adults hovers somewhere around $1,500 to $2,500 per year. That's a massive difference. This number shows where the majority of people are actually living, not what the super-rich are pulling in. This wide gap between the average and the median isn't just a fun fact. It's proof of the curve. It shows that most of us are clustered tightly together in the middle, while a few outliers pull the average up dramatically. But this idea of a curve isn't just a recent phenomenon based on income stats. The concept of the bell curve or normal distribution, has been a central idea in statistics for hundreds of years. It was first formalized by thinkers and mathematicians who noticed that many things in life, from the height of people to the number of heads in a series of coin flips, tend to cluster around an average. The extremes, both high and low, are always far less common. Philosophers have debated what this means for human potential. For centuries, people have argued whether we are destined to be at our average position or if we have the power to break free. Today, we know the truth is a mix of both. Your starting point is a matter of chance. Your country of birth, the family you were born into, the economy you inherited. These are all probabilities. But what you do with that position, your choices, your habits, your small, consistent actions, that is where your power to change the curve truly lies. This isn't about blaming luck. It's about acknowledging the reality of the game you're in. This knowledge empowers you to stop fighting against the laws of probability and start working with them. So, where does our disconnect between reality and expectation arise from? Our culture constantly sells us the idea that, that anything less than extraordinary is failure. We're told to shoot for the stars and believe that becoming a millionaire by 30 is simply a matter of willpower. But when you set goals that require beating enormous odds without a plan to improve your probabilities, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. It's like buying a single lottery ticket and expecting to retire from the winnings. Think about it. For every wildly successful YouTuber, there are millions of channels with fewer than a thousand subscribers. For every startup that becomes a unicorn, there are thousands that fail. For every professional athlete, there are countless people who worked just as hard, 
but never made it. These examples aren't meant to discourage you, but to highlight that extraordinary success is, by definition, the exception, not the rule. Now, here's where a tough pill to swallow becomes a powerful strategy you can use. Instead of trying to jump straight from the middle to the extreme right end of the curve, focus on nudging your position, bit by bit. Think of your life as a game where you want to increase your chances of success, not just hope for a lucky roll of the dice. How do you do that? By stacking up small advantages over time. This could mean learning a new skill that's slightly rarer or more valuable in your job. Maybe you're a designer and you take a class in motion graphics. You don't have to be the best in the world, just a little better and more versatile than most of your coworkers. Building a professional network, not by trying to meet celebrities, but by being genuinely helpful and connecting with a few new people in your field each month. Over time, this creates a web of opportunities that most people simply don't have access to. Making smart, small investments that have a better-than-average, long-term success rate. This isn't about gambling on crypto. It's about putting a little bit of money into things that tend to grow steadily over many years. Developing habits that protect your health and energy. This is one of the most overlooked advantages. When you're well-rested, eating well and exercising, you have the capacity to take on new challenges and seize opportunities when they appear. Each of these moves might only shift your position by a few percent. You get a slightly better raise, a new opportunity opens up, or you just have more energy to work on a side project. But here's the magic of maths. Over years, those small shifts don't just add up. They compound. It's like a snowball rolling downhill. It starts small, but with every rotation, it picks up more snow and gets bigger and bigger. That's how people quietly move from around average to well above it. They aren't lucky. They're consistent. So if the secret is to make small, consistent moves, how do you even get started? The answer lies in building something called margin. Margin is the buffer between what you have and what you need. It's the time, energy, and money you have left over after all your basic needs are met. Most people live with zero margin. Their job takes up all their time. Their expenses use up all their money, and their daily struggles drain all their energy. When you live without margin, you have no resources to make those small bets we talked about. Building margin is the first step to bending the curve. It could mean cutting back on a few unnecessary expenses to free up a small amount of money for a course. It could mean waking up 30 minutes earlier to dedicate time to learning a new skill. It could mean saying no to a social event to protect your energy for a side project. Margin is not a final destination. It's a tool. It's the fuel you use to build up your small advantages so you can start moving rightward on the curve. Of course, probability works both ways. Life isn't a straight line. It throws curveballs, a sudden illness, a job loss, an economic downturn, or even a personal crisis. These events can shove you leftward on the curve, sometimes through no fault of your own. This is why building multiple small advantages matters so much. A single safety net, like a small savings account, might not be enough to save you from a huge disaster, but a combination of several things, a savings cushion, a strong network of friends and colleagues, and a diverse set of skills can keep you from falling too far when something inevitably goes wrong. It's like having several lifeboats instead of just one. So, here's the key takeaway. Most people start and stay near the middle of the curve. That's not failure. It's the math of life. Your goal isn't to fight the math. It's to make the math work for you. Beat small odds, repeatedly and consistently, 
until you've built a position most people only dream about. So, what's the one small, consistent move you're going to make this week to bend the odds in your favor? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if this video made you think differently about your own odds, be sure to subscribe to Inside Wiki for more deep dives into the ideas that shape our lives. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.